Good morning from beautiful Marin, California. Okay, like, so I am like seriously missing the truck stops along 66. I looked at the menu online for the restaurant across from the motel and it's like organic this and sprouts and a burger made from like Oago beef, okay? It's like, I'm not paying for a burger where the cow gets better accommodations than I have shared on this entire trip, okay? Seriously, though, I am missing, like, real American food along 66. Um, so I got a pizza last night. What a surprise, right? So I'm going to be continuing north today. Uh, one thing I do want to see along California is the Redwoods. Um, and I'm looking at the map following one along the coast, and it looks like it's going to continue to be interesting. Um, I'm not going to, like... Kind of like, you know, at the beginning, it's like, here's an abandoned motel. Here's a gas station without a roof. And, you know, I'm not going to keep posting endless pictures of, um, you know, cliffs and things all up the coast. But if I see stuff, you know, that's interesting, I will post it. And just like so far on this trip, every time I say that, guess what? I find more stuff that's interesting than I ever knew existed. Um, so that's kind of what the plan is. Um still have not decided if I'm going to do the whole route, the whole Pacific Coast Highway. Um, mainly California was, you know, my main interest, but you know, I may go up into Oregon. Let's see. Um, that's like, you know, another day or two away. So we'll, we'll see. You know, it's like anything else. I have no idea what I'm going to discover. So how long it's going to take me or if I'm going to have to backtrack again. So talking to other people here at the motel who are doing PCH and um, so I have some ideas we'll kind of see what happens you know um, it's just the open road and you know see what's next it's kind of like um, like Rick used to say on the uh, on the CV on the TV series Pawn Stars you never know what's gonna come through that door next so that's kind of like what what this whole trip has been you never know what's going to come up next when I make the next turn so anyway hope you guys are having a good day it is actually chilly again this morning um you know one thing I'm thinking of it's like it would be so nice not to like go through 100 degrees through Arizona and New Mexico and Texas again or like spend a day you know praying about dodging tornadoes in Oklahoma but that's why I went early anyway let me get packed, get on the road, and I will talk to you all tonight and let you know what I found. Have a great day. So as soon as I left the motel and get on one Pacific Coast Highway continuing north, it's like immediately been doing about 10 miles so far of these twisting, turning, um, Take this next turn at 15 mile an hour type roads along cliffs. Only these are not along the coast. Exactly, these are coming up into the hills in Marin. And we're all up in here into the clouds and you can't really see very much because it's fog and cloud. So, but the little spot here where it looks like the clouds are a little bit thinner you can kind of see down. A little ways at least. And it's pretty. You know, coming across the country on 66 was kind of all about, you know, the mother road, the what people built along the way, the, you know, what they built, why they built, and, you know, conditions along it. Um, Pacific Coast Highway to me is purely about scenic beauty and nature. Um, you know, a couple of things you can't, you just cannot discount, like the Golden Gate Bridge, which was a triumph of technology, especially back then. But this to me is, you know, this part of the trip is mostly about, you know, this beauty along the California coast and being able to see it and experience it. So anyway, let me get back on the road here.
have made it out of the Marin Highlands back actually along the coast again so like I said no idea where this is going I've never been here before didn't do a whole lot of research it's just kind of more fun to jump into something and see what happens and for note more barbed wire so this is definitely an area where they don't want people screwing around and falling I believe I'm looking down off the side of this mountain down to Stinson Beach this is a bit of a surprise we are actually right down along the water um, it's apparently that Bay Area whatever it was behind Stinson Beach uh, some sort of bay or estuary and the road is taking us right alongside of it first time we've been actually down at water level on the PCH this is kind of unexpected. This next section after Stinson Beach is pretty much like driving down a country road in Virginia. Um, Highway 1 goes inland with, through Point Reyes, which is uh, a wildlife preserve. Come to the little town of Reyes Port. Pretty nice little quaint looking town. And I know I've talked about gas prices in California. So that's what they are today at this station. And this is pretty typical of what I've experienced. And this section through here. We've opened into just some nice rolling hills. I've seen like two wineries, a um, couple of dairies with cheese shops. So this is, again, everything constantly changes and come around the turn and you don't know what to see next. We are passing through the town at, I believe, Marconi, California. Again, right at the water level. And you can see there's a few sailboats out there. So this is definitely not an impoverished section of the state. Came around the curve in Marconi and seeing a whole lot more sailing vessels out on moorings. It's a surprisingly long stretch right along the the water line like this you know the, like right along the bays and oceans and rivers and etc you know I said would not be wasting time with more shots of rocky cliffs I did not expect to be seeing all of this you know there's a little bit of a rock outcropping just so I can feel somewhat oriented <laughs> Come around another corner. So we're following some river into this valley. <sighs> wow, this section that I'm driving through right now, um, just the smell of cows and livestock on the breeze and very noticeable I mean I've passed a lot of you know little groups of cows on the way up here but this must be like cow central because that's got the windows open on the car and that's all you can smell on the breeze is livestock like you're in a barn so wow I didn't know air could smell like that Coming out from that section, we just passed through the town of Bodega Bay and went up a went up a hill and around a couple of those hairpin turns, and we are back to 
the Pacific Ocean we all know and love. Have made it to the town of Jenner on Highway 1. It's a little seaside town. Hey, not surprising, there was not a whole lot of anything in the town of Jenner. Um, a few little cottages, you know, a little art studio, gas station. So we're back out and we're back on one, heading north. Yep, we're back up in the clouds here. Nothing like going through fog on these twisting, turning, hairpin turns. We're going to try doing some video along this construction because uh, the last section like this we I drove and realized you know, too late there was some pretty profound stuff I was looking at like just a missing road kind of like this you know that outside section of the road was just gone and they're having to uh, rebuild it Know, replace all the dirt that used to be there that slid down the side after they redo the retaining wall. Okay. So this is apparently quite a long section here. You can see over there maybe that they are doing some retaining wall. Can't really focus the the camera too well because I'm driving this mess and I got a long line of cars behind me but yeah like right there there is no road I hope you saw that so highway one not for the faint of heart weird commentary so I'm stopped at another we're repairing the road here, uh, stoplight. So that last section we just came through after I filmed uh, the construction and where the road is no longer there, hopefully that came through. Um, I passed over about six of those cattle gate things, you know, with the grates in the road and the little angled things going up the side. And it's like, I've got sheer cliff on one side, a a section of road and then a drop off on the other side and I'm thinking who in the heck is is putting cattle grates up here you know and it's like why I mean what cow is going to be crazy enough to to wander up here um and then you think you know like the reason they've got some of those those uh safety labels somebody did it so uh, this uh this day has been not making much progress it's mostly you know very slow 25 mile an hour turns you know you get a little stretch then you come to a town where it's 25 miles and it's just you know a little small wide spot in the road but I came around this turn and looked at saw those beautiful white cliffs it's like oh that is that's something I've not seen yet really pretty coming to some more little towns along highway one but these are getting to be less and less touristy and actual little towns for people uh, not not tourists and not wealthy people up from Marin wanting to put their boat someplace okay I found a spot to pull off right where there's a good example of what I've been talking about with no guardrails and like a foot or two of earth and then like nothing <laughs> and this has been pretty pretty typical of a lot of sections of highway one and you almost kind of wonder what was their criteria where they put guardrails up and then after seeing a couple of spots where people have gone through the guardrails, you're just like, yeah, don't feel secure because you see a guardrail. 
seeing as I'm here with the Redwoods, I just flashed on this thought, whatever happened to that drive through tree was, wonder if it's still around and all of a sudden I saw a sign that said one mile drive through tree. So, what the hell? This is, yep, this is me driving through a tree. And emerging from the tree. Now I can say I've done it and I got video to prove it. Hello, had a really, really interesting day. I was driving up the Pacific Coast Highway, California one, from Marin up to where that cuts back into uh, 101. So it was a really interesting drive. Um, saw you know some little towns, constantly changing landscape, going from you know going from mountains up in the uh, Marin Highlands into the uh, down along the water, like right along the water through some small towns, through lots of agricultural areas. Um, got to go up to see my redwoods and drive through the, the redwood. So I drove into a redwood and I didn't, the car is fine. So that is, uh, I've done my pretty much my Highway 101 that I wanted to see through Canada, through uh, California. And at this juncture, um, should be turning to head back east, back to Virginia. Uh, this has been a great adventure, but you know my main objective was going to uh, was going to drive Route 66 from Chicago to Santa Monica, which I did. Uh, had a great time, and then I got out here and said, "Let's go up the Pacific Coast Highway for a while and see what you know, see what there is to see." Big Sur is amazing, um, but again, route. Um, the whole route along uh, Highway 1 is a lot of hairpin turns, you know, 15 miles an hour, 20 mile an hour turns. Uh, it's very slow going. It's usually two lanes. Um, and, you know, I've seen it. And, you know, I really wanted to do about a month for this trip. And, um, still have to drive back across the United States. So at this juncture, I'm going to um, end, my, end my adventure and head on back. You know, just like J.R.R. Token uh, in his Hobbit and Lord of the Rings have lots of stuff about the trip out there. Once they achieve the objective, it's the next chapter. Oh, they're back in, you know, they're back in the Shire. So this is gonna be my last video uh, for this trip. Uh, thank y'all for following along. I hope that you enjoyed, you know, watching this as much as I enjoyed making them and driving them. Hopefully, maybe uh, somebody's going to get motivated to uh, drive 66. It is, uh, it's going to be 100 years old in 2026, so it should be a lots of festivities if you're thinking about it. So thank you for following me along, and I wish y'all safe travels wherever you go. And I will see you when I get back to Virginia. Have a great day.